The ring itself is $49.95. It's $16.65 on your charge card. And then the bangle is $119. We have that bangle in small medium, or we have it for you in medium large. And I love that we have the magnetic closure because you don't have to try to, you know, force your wrist through it. You don't have to have someone else try to clasp it for you. All you're going to do is simply slip it on and you are set and ready to go. So pretty. Yeah. It's a wonderful shape. Beautiful shape. And that, that again, the closure just makes it so easy. Yeah. And what I, what I also love about this is that the cabochons are so tightly packed mm -hmm. that they, they just pop right up. It's incredible. Right, they yeah. do. And, and the little starfishes, they're subtle, but they also just add that design element to it that just makes it a, much more special. And you can see from, from every single angle, you're getting a beautiful view. This is very, very three-dimensional. And I will tell you, if you want the bangle, the bangle itself, we have just about 90 remaining. So the bangle should sell out in a matter of moments. Small, medium, or medium, large, with small, medium being the most limited at this time, that would be for more of a seven, six and a half to seven inch wrist size. The medium, large, more to a seven, seven and a half. Uh, in a lot of cases, a lot of us could wear both sizes. It just kind of depends if you want it a little, you know, looser or a little tighter. And the ring comes to you in sizes five through 10. You know, something else that I think is remarkable about the Kenneth J. Lane collection is the color of the gold tone that you use. Yeah, it's super good. It's yeah. bright and, and uh, the level of the plating is much higher than the industry standard. Mm -hmm. It will not tarnish. Well, and we were saying this earlier, but when we talk about the fact that first ladies and celebrities and socialites and royalty, they've always worn Kenneth J. Lane, when you think of the fact that those ladies do have an extensive collection of fine jewelry and could have fine jewelry, and yet they choose these beautiful um, fashion pieces to go along with them, that speaks to the way that they are gonna mix and match with their solid gold and with their genuine gemstone pieces, right? Mix and match and also just for, to take on travel. Exactly. When, when they're on a cruise or if they're uh, going on a, on a trip, they just pack this stuff instead of taking their real, more often than not. The thing is, I think we get so attached to these pieces. You know, we say that sometimes. We go, oh, you can take it if you travel. If something happened to it, then you're like, no. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> if something happened to it, I would just, duh, hate <laughs> it. Okay. So I will tell you, if you want the bangle, it is now last call on the gorgeous bangle. And this one, I would say it's nice to have a set. You know, some of them we go, oh, you could yeah. wear different things. But with this one in particular, I think a set would be... Fantastic. Well, even even if you even if you get the full set, you can wear the bracelet with the earring, or the mm -hmm. or the ring with the earring, or you don't you know. And why did he love doing so many things um, that were inspired by the ocean and that kind I, of thing? I, honestly, I, I'm not really sure. Where did he grow up? Do you know? Yes, he grew up in Detroit, as he called it, Detroit. Okay, so no, <laughs> we're near the ocean. <laughs> very very strange, but uh, he couldn't wait to get out of there. Uh -huh. He told me many times, and he ended up, he went to engineering school for a year, and then he went to RISD and graduated from RISD. Okay. And came right to New York right afterwards. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have less than three minutes remaining to shop here, <clears throat> and just one of the most used colors, too, that you'll see, one of the most used colorways is that that gorgeous coral, coral and turquoise, yeah. so much of the Kenneth J. Lang, uh, the coral and turquoise. I know when I was looking online and, and looking at so many people who had posted their collections and, you know, hashtag Kenneth J. Lane on their Instagram and that kind of thing, they would open their jewelry box and have a photograph and, and you would see hundreds of pieces. Lots of people collect just this color in particular. They do, they do. Because it's such, it's almost like a cosmetic enhancement to your skin. It looks good on every skin tone. It does. He, he just loved turk and coral. Uh -huh. Turk and coral, and also black and white, but mostly turk and coral, his favorite colors. Well, they're happy colors. They're they just... are, they bring up everything. Absolutely, and by the way, the little star, I'm sorry, the seahorse, coming up in a moment. Is... I love that one. I do too. Also in our beautiful coral color, on the way, the earrings are still available. If you're looking to complete the entire three-piece set, you can certainly do that. The starfish, you're gonna get one starfish on the ring, three of those floating starfish on the bangle bracelet all the way around. You can see too how it lifts up off of the wrist. Now I've paired it back with our other bangles. Did he like the stacking? He did. Yeah. In fact, he, 
one of his good friends was Fulco Verdura, who was a real jewelry designer. And Fulco said, if a woman has two wrists, she should have two bracelets. I like it. So he was a big believer in, in women wearing lots of bracelets, not on just one, but on both wrists. Ooh. The more the merrier, I guess. I love this. We can never have too much beautiful jewelry. No. Okay, one minute remaining to shop here. We'll show you on Sue one more time, and then we're going to be wrapping this up because we have just about 10 minutes left, trying to squeeze in as much as we possibly can before we have to let Chris go. He's going to be back a little bit later on tonight with Lynn Murphy. But there you can see the two together and just truly wearing something that is unique and beautiful. And people are drawn to this jewelry. They are. And I think it's not just from the quality, but also the collectability, as you yeah. said before. Yes. Okay, we're going to move straight to the seahorse pin, seahorse brooch, keeping with that coral and the aquatic theme.